I know it's only been a week since Easter and it's kind of pointless to review this, but I mean, we're still in the month of April, so that has to count. <laughs> Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video. And today's movie review, I guess it's a movie a little bit, but today's movie review is going to be of Here Comes Peter Cottontail. No real reason I wanted to review this other than the fact that literally on Easter, or the day before Easter, this came up somewhere on my YouTube. I was scrolling and I was like, oh my gosh. I totally forgot this thing existed. So here comes Peter Cottontail. It basically tells the tale of Easter and the most notorious and famous Easter Bunny of them all is Peter Cottontail and how he basically saved Easter. So this film essentially is done by the Rankin and Bass Company. So you'll you'll know them from various things like here Comes Santa Claus, the Rudolph movies, because there's some really weird Rudolph movies that they did, and even some weirder stuff like Nestor the Donkey. So it's the same production, same stop motion animated people behind that. And this is another weird one because essentially Peter Cottontail winds up losing Easter because he loses to the villain of this movie or of this special and he has to go back in time yes this film has time travel where him and this french talking caterpillar go back in time trying to save easter and make sure that peter cottontail becomes the easter bunny and besides that weird outlandish premise this sounds very much familiar to me and that's kind of good but kind of bad in a sense not like it really jeopardizes the holiday special it's just it's very funny and kind of almost run-of-the-mill the premise of let's take a look at this so we have this Holiday Special is narrated by a singer named Danny Kay, a very old singer, Danny Kay, who tells the story of Easter and how this person named Peter Cottontail became the Easter Bunny, kind of the big Easter Bunny that we all know and love. And he goes through ups and downs as he becomes the new, basically, representation of a holiday icon. Sounds a bit familiar, if you ask me. You have a musical, an old school OG musical person narrating a holiday special talking about said person that becomes a holiday icon. Sounds kind of familiar if you ask me. I mean, you got Danny Kay, Fred Astaire, Easter, Christmas. It almost kind of feels very similar-ish for its benefits and its doubts a little. But, I mean, for an Easter special, this is fine. It's not like it's anything great or grand or epic. It's just kind of a cute little Easter special that Rankin and Bass put together back in, like, the 70s. The only thing that really stands out to me the most is the villain. Nothing wrong with our main characters. Peter Cottontail's likable. The French caterpillar is actually kind of funny he has a very funny song with improvising and improvisation so i do like that and he i don't know he's got a quirk to him at least but the villain is who stands out to me because just the design of the villain just obviously he screams a villain like he's obviously intentionally made to be a black bunny to have a evil look on his face he screams evil He's voiced by none other than legendary icon Vincent Price because Vincent Price is known for doing villains or a lot of monsters or horror related things. So it makes sense. The dude's name is January Q Iron Tail. It kind of is a silly name, but only only someone like Vincent Price can pull off a character like this. And his whole backstory is so cheesy. It's so like petty, but it's 
funny and it's perfect. Years ago, a small child roller skated over my tail. Since then, I have had to wear this artificial one made of iron instead of having a nice fluffy white cotton tail like that beard. But it was an accident, sir. The child didn't mean to. I don't care! Since that time, I have detested all children. But then, why be Easter Bunny to get even? <laughs> and he's honestly the only standout to me. Everyone else is just kind of fine. There was no really other standouts. Although, Danny Kaye's not bad. So, I will give him credit to that. But other than that, it's just a cute little... Easter special that you can check out probably on Easter. I don't know if they still do it on TV or if it's on any streaming platform, but you can probably find it on YouTube or you can look for it online. But I'm just going to give this a solid B. So here comes Peter Cottontail. It's weird. It's cute. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not a week. Make sure you ring that bell. I do new videos every day, if not a week. Share the video with family and friends, all the good stuff and more. Leave any suggestions in the comments. You name it, I'll look into it as best as possible. I got some other stuff for you guys for the month of April, so look out for those. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.